the air tattoo flying display here for the United States Air Force because this aircraft is operated by Air Force Special Operations Command, specifically the 7th Special Operations the Squadron. Operational service the both the U.S. Air Force and U.S. Marine Corps has really proved its worth in combat theatres. We're going to see all of those capabilities demonstrated here. the Osprey fly and how quiet it is, making it a very, uh, very much an ideal platform for covert special operations work as performed by the CD-22s in service with AFSOC, Air Force Special Operations Command. Well, we've seen a transition now into what we might call helicopter mode. You can see that the rotors have now gone vertical. The engines, a pair of Rolls-Royce Allison AE-1107C turboshafts of more than 6,200 shaft horsepower each. The first flight of the prototype Osprey was made in March 1989. The US Marine Corps received its first MV-22B model, which we've seen here at the Air Tattoo in the past, for training purposes in March 2000, and they became operational in 2005. The CD-22B models like this one of the Air Force were first delivered for test duties in September 2000. Training commenced in August 2006 and operational capability came in early 2007. So the aircraft which has flown straight in from Milton Hall has now landed on, ready to get airborne again in a very short... And here again you can see close up that transition. Command is long-range missions in support of uh, special ops forces, infiltrating them, resupplying them once they're on the ground, and then exfiltrating them upon completion of the mission. It's got a combat radius of some 500 nautical miles with the single internal auxiliary fuel tank fitted, but of course the aircraft is also able to air-to-air -air refuel from MC-130 Hercules tankers, and that gives a range of over 2,000 nautical miles and endurance up to the so maneuvers in front of us, also on board a hoist and the fast roping equipment required for the rapid infiltration and exfiltration of those special ops forces. They can also, of course, jump off the rear ramp. The differences between this CV-22B and the MV-22B operated by the Marine Corps are numerous. This one has more fuel capacity. It's also operated by four crew members as opposed to the three in the Marine Corps Ospreys, two pilots and two flight engineers. And it's also got a terrain following the first operational CD-22Bs. Now back to slow speed, and the aircraft will be coming into crowd center for a little bit of hovering work. And as I say, you should see if they do what they did yesterday on the rear ramp, that ramp mounted machine gun, because this is a very versatile aircraft, there are all sorts of discussions going on as to future capabilities for the Osprey. <coughs> Bell Boeing are looking at a gunship version and they've carried out testing of rocket and missile armament. Using the Osprey as an air-to-air -air refueling tanker is another possibility. Already Ospreys are used by the U.S. Marine Corps Presidential Transport Squadron, HMX-1, to carry support personnel and members of the press corps. And the Osprey is now being procured for the U.S. Navy to replace the C-2 Greyhound as its COD carrier onboard delivery platform, keeping the U.S. Navy's aircraft carriers resupplied.
today, I notice. The latest bit of Osprey news came only last Tuesday when a deal was announced that we'll see five B-22s being supplied to Japan. An exceptionally versatile aircraft. The aircraft clearing back to its base at Milton Hall, where they're getting a full complement.